Hello, in this video I'm going to solve the following problem for you. This is a problem on the topic of complex numbers, basics. Let us read the problem together first. Let x, y, u and v be non-zero real numbers such that x plus y i cubed equals to u plus v i. Show that u over x plus v over y equals to 4 times x squared minus y squared. That is a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. Okay, now let us solve the problem together. If you look at the information provided for us in the problem, I see that I have a complex number on the left, which is equal to the a complex number uh, on the right. Of course, the complex number on the right is already in its standard form, but the complex number on the left is not still in its standard form because of this exponent 3. So the first thing that I have to do is to expand this and write this as a complex number in its standard form. To do this, I want to use the following famous identity. So if I have a and b added and I want to raise it to power 3, this is the identity that I want to use. The first one cubed, 3 times the first one squared times the second one, plus 3 times the first one times the second one squared, and finally plus the second one cubed. Okay, so let us use this identity and expand this by giving the role of a to x and giving the role of b to yi. Okay, so x plus yi cubed becomes the first one cubed, x cubed, plus the first one squared multiplied by the second one, plus three times the first one multiplied by the second one squared, and finally plus the second one cubed. Okay, so I continue, I copy and paste x cubed. For the next one, I just simply write 3x squared yi. But for the second one, I realize that yi squared is equal to y squared i squared, but i squared is minus one, so it becomes minus y squared. So it means that instead of this, I put minus y squared, so it becomes minus 3xy squared. So I would write it here. For the next one, what I can do, I have yi cubed. So it becomes y cubed i cubed. But i cubed can be written as i squared i but i squared is minus 1, so it becomes minus y cubed i. So I would write it down, minus y cubed i. And then I immediately realize that uh, this one is the, and this one combined together is the real part, and this one after i being factored out, and this one gives me the imaginary part, so I will combine them. So I would write it as x cubed minus 3xy squared as the real part, plus I factor an i out, so it becomes 3x squared y minus y cubed i. Okay, so if I ask you what this number is, you will show me this, and then I can immediately say that this is the real part of my complex number, and this is the imaginary part of my complex number. On the other hand, this complex number that you see is the same and it is supposed to be equal to this complex number. This can happen if and only if the real part of this and the real part of that number match the same true for the imaginary parts. So I can immediately conclude that. So for example, if I give this equality name 1 and I give this name 2, so from comparing number 1 and number 2, I'm allowed to conclude that uh, u is actually x cubed minus 3xy squared, and v is equal to 3x squared y minus y cubed. 
But if I have an eye on what I'm going to prove, I see that on the right hand side of what I'm going to, on the left hand side of what I'm going to prove, I have these two combinations. So I need to have the combination of u over x and the combination of v over y. So this observation motivates me to divide both sides of this equality by x. So it becomes u over x equals to, I have two terms to divide by x. When I divide this by x, I get x squared. And when I divide the second term by x, I just simply get 3y squared. Okay, and that is also true for the second one. But for the second one, motivated by this fraction, I divide both sides by y. So this becomes v over y. On the right hand side, I have two terms to divide by y. The first one will give me simply 3x squared and the second one will give me y squared. Okay, but what I'm going to do, according to this, I have to add these two fractions. So I start adding these two equalities side by side. If I add them, the left-hand side becomes simply u over x plus v over y, and the right-hand side becomes x squared minus 3y squared plus 3x squared minus y squared. But you can simply see that x squared plus 3x squared is 4x squared and minus 3y squared minus y squared is minus 4y squared. And finally, I factor a 4 out and I reach to the right hand side of the equality that I'm supposed to prove. Okay, so I was able to show that this expression is indeed equal to this expression if this condition holds. And here, of course, I am allowed to divide by x and y safely because according to the assumption in the problem, x, y, u and v are all non-zero numbers. Okay, I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.